morning everyone it's 7 a.m. in the morning and we are about to catch a bus bloody hell it's 7 o'clock and everyone is already active like it's just shocking how many people is already around look at that I don't know if you can see it but in the distance there is a flock of motorbikes it's like a beehive what we're gonna do today is simple we'll catch a bus and then we'll go to the Mekong Delta one of the most beautiful natural attractions here in Vietnam as you already know we are in Saigon which is the closest city to the Mekong Delta the closest and the biggest city close to the Mekong Delta the way we will go there today is with a uh, organized tour and there is only one reason why we are going with an organized tour because I found the bloody ship still 290,000 Vietnamese dong which is 14 US dollars everything included let's see how everything turns out meanwhile oh, wow you can see all the garbage that lays on the street there is a funny smell we have all the factors needed to start the day good before joining the group hopefully it won't be a big one I need to get something to eat noodle soup at 7 in the morning? no please right so we need a um, something to eat something sweet something really light for later wow people eat already soup at 7 in the morning that's sick and meanwhile look at that That's simply mad. Let's get in one of these circle stores and let's get something. Here we go. I like these kind of small cakes. They're really soft. We've got water. No, that's it. Let's go and pay. Thank you. What I realized here is that they are giving away small plastic bags for everything that's insane too much plastic used here in Asia but anyway we got our cakes let's move forward right so the bus is here a nice little bus I guess too little, but anyway, let's get ourselves a seat. At least there is the aircon. The seats are quite small. I like the right side. Actually, fuck the right side. Right, so I'm really excited, looking forward to it. Hopefully, gonna have a great day. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can admire the panorama outside I believe is a uh, one hour drive is an hour drive from central Saigon to the Delta but I'm not sure right so we departed the bus is now full just seven people maybe we need to make other stops during the way I don't know let's see meanwhile outside the city is already and yeah let's go to the Mekong Delta here we go oh, what a beautiful pond oh this is really cool actually so we stopped for a uh, toilet break wow this is so cool I believe it's one of those spots where the guided tours are bringing you to. So 
so you can actually eat something, spend some money, and yeah, have a little break. Let's have a look. This is the black coffee with mint. 55 which is which is bloody two pounds bloody hell but I believe you're not gonna find the cheaper one in here mm, let me think about that the place is beautiful but the coffee is quite expensive it's 60,000 which is two pounds which works out to be like two dollars 40 cents Starbucks prices is just incredible uh, come on we are in uh, right it's a nice place but we're in bloody Vietnam I mean how comes that things are costing so much now no coffee for us today when we get back to the town we're gonna get it but what I realize is also that in here the prices everywhere they aren't so cheap when you're traveling to Asia, and if you do a tour like I'm doing, you are touring different countries in a go, in one go, you realize that you start comparing all the prices against the cheapest country, and in this case it might be Laos, or it might be, I don't know even if Thailand is cheap anymore. So you automatically start to think that, oh, this is expensive. In reality, it's not expensive, all right? Don't get me wrong. It's not expensive if we compare it to Europe. The prices are okay. But still, you know that you can find something cheaper. You know that you can get a better deal. And since I just want to put myself there talking with them and because they have fixed prices, I'm not gonna buy it. Easy as that. Am I being cheap? Maybe. But I think it's not fair. Well, life is not fair, isn't it? Right, so here we go. This is the second stop and we stopped to a bamboo coconut place. One of these useless stops where they're inviting you to kind of purchase anything in order to help the local communities and the reason why I used useless the word useless is because if I really wanted to do it I could do it by myself without being brought to these kind of places hello no no thank you now they will tell us a little story wow this is annoying now they will tell us a little story and we will have to Listen to it. Yeah. Welcome to visit Chuk San Spa. My name is Sam. Today I will introduce for you Mekong Bamboo Fiber and Coconut Fiber, Mekong Bamboo Shako and Coconut Shako. Uh, if you don't I thought that I paid for the Mekong Delta Tour. And now we need to go through the shop. A head factory. That's amazing. So they're producing the hats in here. Hello, that's hard conditions, working hard conditions, finally, we're moving on, and yeah, finally, the almighty Mekong Delta, what clean, nice water, right, Hopefully it will be a great experience because so far it has been okay. Let's go ahead. Right, so we're hoping on and off boats in order to get to ours, which is the last one. And we are departing. Rồi cả nhà chú ý cho bây giờ đừng có thả tay ngoài khi tàu đi nha. Thả tay ngoài công đụng cái tàu khác cái đôi tàu còn. Đi tao mới mình 
Kong Delta. I made it to one of the longest rivers in the world. I'm happy. I guess it's my second one after the Danube. I haven't seen the Nile, I haven't seen the Amazon River, I haven't seen. That's right, uh, welcome to uh, Mekong Delta Land. Uh, we are at the Mai Tau City. Uh, this is number four, longest city. Đây kia, sau này giao thông họ sẽ đi hai chiều qua lại nó dễ và nó không bị kẹt xe. Although it's supposed to be one of the Nhưng most beautiful deltas, it's really dirty. Look at that, it's full of floating vegetation, I believe, and plastic also. I believe this one are bits and pieces of the mangrove forests around the delta but still it's full of plastic I don't know if you can see it guys the distance it's full of plastic humans are such beasts well this guy keeps speaking in Vietnamese and we cannot understand nothing. But we must enjoy the trip. Right, so we are about to approach the so-called pier here in the Dragon Island, they are calling it. I don't know. And we are going to see a uh, coconut farm and a uh, beehive cultivator. I don't know, let's see. I'm not excited because I was imagining to see a delta with small boats, palms around, and etc. Et it's legend. A legend. I don't know what he's doing. Look at that. What, what is he doing there? That's impressive. I don't know what he's doing there. One nice pier. And we made it. We are in a dragon island. And we are seeing a honey block. Honey <coughs> behind. <coughs> it's nice, but again, useless. I'm not excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not excited. I'm not excited about doing this kind of stuff. I just imagined a completely different kind of trip. But still, we must remain positive. And it's difficult. <laughs> we need to try one of these small teas with honey and fried banana. I spoke with the guide, basically he said that we will visit the proper delta later. Hmm, that's actually good. Yeah. Right here is good, eh? Yeah, so sweet. Mamma mia. This is really good. <laughs> Let's try the banana. <laughs> Extra sweet banana chips. The tea was good, but it's definitely not worthy to buy one of these bottles. Wow, look at that! That's a huge fish! Wow! Anyway, the big bottle of honey is costing 150, the smaller one 120, but it's definitely not worthy because it's really expensive, first of all. Second of all, because of the liquids limit, in the airports, it's literally almost impossible to bring one of those. Especially to a person like me that travels only with a backpack and a small hand luggage. Therefore, I'm not the right customer for them. And it's almost 11 o'clock. And we haven't seen yet the proper delta, the one that I really want to see. Now that the... Honey experience is over. We're heading over to a uh, 
coconut farm. Another great experience. You know, meanwhile we can admire the beauty of the area. Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting in the pathway where so, they the I believe they're explaining to you what to do and in here you can get some candies. Sorry guys, but this is so annoying to me. This is so boring. So far, almost 11 o'clock, we've been to three different places. You want to say hello? Say hello! We've been to three different places where they simply wanted to sell us something. First place was the bamboo fiber factory, the second one was the honey one, and the third one is the coconut candy factory. What about the Mekong Delta? Guys, we finally made it! We are on a small boat. A rowing boat, we have here the lady that is rowing on our behalf. This clean river. In between this dirty lagoon. And we've got a really cool hat. <laughs> One of the best ones that we could get. Finally, the adventure starts after touring useless manufacturing centers. After doing and wasting a lot of time, we finally on a lagoon. The water level is really low and it seems like in here there are weird animals. This definitely must be a hard work. Poor them. Although there is a really funny smell in here, I'm happy. I'm finally happy because we really start doing what we paid for. Cruising on the Delta, taking a small boat. Even if it's full of dirt, plastic, fruit shells, vegetables. This tour guide said that basically the trip is gonna last in between 25 to half an hour, 25 minutes to half an hour, and then we'll have a big boat waiting for us on the other side. Look, that's a bicycle tire. And we are overpassing them. A really nice takeaway box. Wow, definitely I didn't expect that. I didn't expect this kind of, of situation. The river is really, 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 really dirty. Just incredible. Look at that. It's dirty, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of my new friends from Argentina. Willy! From Argentina. <laughs> Hello. A lady enjoying the view. I guess this is a uh, sewage canal. Wow, I definitely expected a different experience. But still, really happy to be here. Am I?
Meal carton. As we already have seen in Hoi An, this one is the coconut tree, the water coconut tree. Bloody hell. They are cruising at a... Uh, look at the way she is spinning around, baby. That's a skill. So as I was saying, this one is the coconut water trees. But, wow. Compared to what we've seen in Hoi An, it's a completely different story. These canals, I believe we're cruising in between sewage canals because it cannot be compared to the Hoi An experience, unfortunately. I really hope the Vietnamese government is going to take some actions to protect this beautiful part of the world. But I don't know, literally don't know. Maybe they should do the same thing that the Philippine government did back in 2018 with Boracay, where they closed the island for a year in order to bring it up to livable standards. But this is just a suggestion. Easy to, to say, difficult to do. Look at this huge piece of bloody plastic, of bloody chemical stuff. Wow. And here, a nice sewage exit. I just cannot believe I'm doing this. I just cannot believe that. <laughs> Look at that. That's insane. I'm a bit speechless, honestly speaking. Look at that. <laughs> well, I hope this experience that I'm doing will be useful to you guys deciding whether or not to spend this money on coming to the Mekong Delta. We have a little nice concert on the other, ha on the other side of the river. Look at these two women. Lightning speed! I really hope this experience that I'm doing with these raw images, with this raw movie will help you to make a wise and a better decision I know the price is not high it's $12 but still is it this worth it imagine in our group there is a couple a couple from Romania who paid double the price just to get a better lunch but still they are on the same bus, they are doing the same kind of experiences and they are seeing the same canals for double the price. The only difference, a slightly better lunch. I don't know, let's see how it's gonna be the lunch and let's see if it was worth it for them paying double the amount. Right, so we arrived at the end of the canal. Back there, behind the pier, we can see the commercial delta where all the boats, the big container boats, are passing through. I'm definitely sure that these small boats like this one cannot go that way. Therefore, sooner or later, I believe on the left hand side, we will have the pier where we will disembark. Well, since it's not even one o'clock, I really hope that we will experience a uh, better boat trip. Hello, you. Bye-bye.
bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Ah, so we finished. All right. The nice lady that rode all the way in here, she's telling us that we arrived at the pier where we will disembark soon. I don't know how we'll make it, but we will see. It wasn't great. It's not up to me to decide, it's not up to me to say. However, the only thing that I would like to point out and mention is that the river is dirty. And this is not up to the... Hi there, hey, hey, hey. My new friends from whatever they are, from Asia. It's not up to me, it's not up to the local communities. It's up to the government to do something about that. Or I should say also about the local communities. Coconut religion. Religion? Yep. So the temple for the coconut religion? Yeah. I didn't know it, there is a coconut religion. Because when you follow this one, you only have coconuts and drink coconut water. Oh, okay. They do not allow for you to try something like shrimp or pork or meat or chicken or anything. Just only coconuts and coconut water. And so you're eating only coconut? Yeah. And drink coconut water. That's it? That's it. This is life? Yeah, funny. Yeah, it's for really funny. Because where, uh, uh, where coconut religion, they workshop for Jesus and they workshop for Buddha together too. They workshop for Paul of a lot of religion around the world too. Uh, yeah, it's just only coconut religion. Coconut religion. Yeah, I have played with crocodile. They try to fish it down Wow. They are so big. Right, so we need to get lunch first and then we can admire the crocodiles. We keep all in that way, please. I don't know what is that. I believe it's sweet. And this is the restaurant. A really nice reception. The barbecue. different utensils available and here is the sitting area look at that really nice small little ponds i'm not sure if we're going to eat a fish from this pond but honestly to me it doesn't look great but let's see let's don't judge the lunch before Look what well, nice little lunch. Right, so this is what you get for 290,000 Vietnamese dong, <laughs> including the nice sewage canal tour. Alongside with my friends. <laughs> what is a sewage canal, in it? My friends from Denmark? Yes. Denmark and Argentina. So you get a uh, portion of rice, some green beans, shrimp rolls, and some rats or which meat is this? <laughs> pork. My absolutely bad. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> A warm. This is warm. Uh, one like this, thirty thousand dong. Or you can get steel like. Or they will deep fry. Okay. And the second, it's a mouse. Chocolate. <laughs> what about you? No. <laughs> Why would I eat mouses? Mm. Mm. Test, uh, say, also test like some kind of bug or a chicken. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. So after this, you have great really time, right? Uh, first, you can walk along there for take a picture. The guy was showing to us on the menu. They've got these beautiful and juicy worms. You got to pay 100,000, which is almost 4 euros, to eat worms. If you're not happy with worms, you can try something exotic like crocodile meat or rats. Mice meat. Look at that. Hãy 
Pool of crocodiles in here. We got on a boat heading towards the last destination, a pagoda. Let's see how it's gonna be, and we'll take it from there. And guys, we made it to the last destination, the pagoda. And look what is here, what a beautiful statue of a uh, Buddha, of a really white, huge, big Buddha. This is the ultimate pagoda. It seems like it's one of the oldest ones here in uh, Saigon area, or maybe in the whole Vietnam. I don't know, because everyone says the same things about the almost the same monuments. It's the oldest, the beautiful, it's the most beautiful, blah, blah, blah. But it looks nice. And here we've got a beautiful sleeping Buddha. Buddha pagodas, pagodas Buddhas. Everything is beautiful, old and unique. Like the experience we've had today cruising through the sewage canals of the Mekong Delta. It's sad, I'm laughing about that because at the end of the day, I only pay $12, but still, I would have enjoyed more spending at least like slightly more time on the Delta, on the canal, having a look at, I don't know what specifically, but we didn't. We just hopped off and on different manufacturing centers and shops. Guys, the tour is over. The day is over. Almost 4 p.m. in the afternoon. It's time for us to head back to Saigon and call it, call the day. Here, from this beautiful pagoda and this fat Buddha, it's time for me to thank you so much for uh, watching the video. It's been a hell of a day. Was it worth it taking the Mekong Delta tour for a day? I don't know. Please answer this question on my behalf. Was it worth it paying 290,000 Vietnamese dong for this day? Again, I don't know. Please answer on my behalf. But what is certain, I'm happy that I've seen the Delta. I'm happy that I've met incredible people which by the way, they subscribe. Thank you so much to my Argentinian friends, Danish friends, and also Romanian friends. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.